Hey everyone, NWA Prepper here. So, uh, an empty milk crate. What are we gonna do with that? There is uh, a lot of things we can do with it. So, most people have a milk crate of some kind laying around. Sometimes they're uh, full of knickknacks, sometimes they're full of scraps or whatever. I know that we have a windy day. So I know that we have uh, lots of them. And so I wanted to, uh, well, I didn't want, I just kind of came across this. And uh, this guy here, I mean, that's what it does. It's so it's a, uh, a dry box for a milk crate. And, uh, I thought I would like it, and it was, I, I hit up some clearance sales along the lines. It was on clearance for $17.97, and then today it was half of that. So uh, let's see what this that looks like in a milk crate. So there it is in the crate. Um, it's got two ways to open it. One is the Velcro. And then there's another, there's a zipper down below. Hmm. And it would be at the top of the crate if I had stuff in it. So to me, that makes it not waterproof. So I wouldn't use it as a dry storage. Um, but then as I look, it has an asterisk on there. And then on the bottom, it says, will stay dry unless your kayak turns over or heavy water splash or soaking occurs against the Velcro. So it's not really waterproof. I would say water resistant, um, which is way better than something just sitting in the crate because then it's certainly subjected to whatever water or conditions are out there. So, Though I think it would be good to uh, keep things good, clean from dirt and debris, uh, I've decided it's not the best thing for water. So what do you guys think? Uh, is it better than just a garbage sack? Or is it not? Uh, oh yeah, I like the idea of it, but I wish it was totally a, re a regular dry bag like totally enclosable. Of course, it's kind of made more as a live well, I guess. But uh, anyway, good in theory, I guess. Not my favorite thing. Uh, I mean, I am gonna use it, but it's gonna be more for things that I want to keep clean, not things that necessarily have to be dry. Cause there's also a couple of holes in it for a live well pump or bubbler, but uh, so definitely not a dry box, but lots of possibilities for other things, particularly if you're storing stuff in it in an area that there's a lot of dust, a lot of dirt, and have things you want to keep clean uh, that don't necessarily want in a plastic tote or something. Um, and if you're going out, you know, if you're going out and it'll protect things against light rain, and you know, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't plan on it keeping everything. If you needed electronics to be dry or keep your socks good and dry. That's not the device I think is best for it. Thanks for watching. Let's get ready.